Hi everybody! I've got a 30 minute session that I'm doing for a client. So I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and get started. Okay. I'm open to what my guides and angels think is most important for me right now. Okay. Just getting in the zone here. Okay, alrighty. <sighs> so I'm being shown what is a pathway. The pathway also looks like a very unusual tree with golden bark. And the pathway does not lead forward, it leads upward and it's slightly slanted so you would just kind of walk up at an angle towards the sky there's no leaves on this tree and your guides angels want me to continue to look at it at this image because there's something about it's a fallen tree even though it's golden there's something very special about it it seems a bit disconnected or as in there's all this foliage all these other trees growing around and then we have this unique tree but there there's a, a vibrational um, it's like the unique tree is being ignored by the other trees or it's not being acknowledged and even for this special golden tree um, it's not really acknowledging itself either. It's not really seeing itself for what it truly is, which is different. It's absolutely different. There is nothing similar about you, the golden tree pathway into the sky, <laughs> than all the other trees around you. You're super one of a kind. And that is what makes you so awesome. Because when you look at yourself in the mirror, you should be like, I am a golden tree. I am so different than all the other trees. And that's what makes you awesome. Okay? So there's other complications. It's feeling complicated and it's making my solar plexus um, shaky and tight and like I'm kind of having a hard time breathing and speaking. And the feeling is I need to get you back on your feet again because this golden tree, I love the pathway to the sky, um, but it's supposed to be upright and it has the power to stand upright. It isn't meant to be a, a fallen tree that decays and rots away. It's meant to be this golden tree that stands one of a kind amongst the other trees and goes still goes all the way up into the sky. You really got some strong bark. I mean, you can't take a pick to try to pick the gold off. <laughs> You're unbreakable. And you don't just um, deteriorate or degrade like the other trees would. You're tough. You got a, a tough skin, a thick skin. I feel a, an odd fear. Still trying to define what that fear means to me. I'm, I'm starting to feel really sad now. I look and I see there's an airplane buzzing around and it's kind of like it's got this fly sensation to it, like it, I can hear it buzzing and it's like it's buzzing around but it's a full-fledged airplane and it's just going around and around and around in circles above. Now I'm still feeling this energy sort of lodged in my solar plexus. It bothers me around my heart, makes it hard kind of to breathe and to speak, feeling emotional, feeling the sensation of a fear. 
as I, Abby, am looking at, okay, well, how do we get you to stand upright? How do we get you to stand tall? All of this is going on. You're really resisting something that's going to totally change your whole world. And once you stop resisting, everything's going to shift for you. We're going to find out more about what that is. Right now, I'm just um, experiencing the energy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow us both to just be at peace with the fear. And be at peace with the weird breathing. And man, is it ever like an anxiety. <sighs> it's like, please, please don't. Please don't make me. <sighs> and there's energy that comes from behind you and just kind of pushes through you and pushes for you forward. I see you also as a banana. <laughs> um, like some sort of fragile, that fragile thing that um, could be bruised, could be damaged. Um, the breathing is continuing. It's just like an anxiety feeling. We're going to continue to sit with it. We're not going to resist it. We're going to sit with it. You're, you're really jump bumpy. Like, I'm not, I can't, I, okay, I can sit with it. Oh, no, I can't, no, I can't. <laughs> you're kind of like that. <laughs> So I ask for one of your guides or angels to come forward to help you through this. But they really need you to focus on what is the problem, okay? What do you see as the problem? And it may not be definable. It could just be a weird feeling that you get. Or maybe it's not such a weird feeling. Maybe it's really ex an understandable feeling. And those feelings are not problems. Those feelings are good. And if I were to, they're saying that um, for one of them to walk forward to introduce themselves now is not the time um, because it'll be a distraction. And this is something that you need to move all the way through without any distractions. It's you have to focus on you right now. A lot of stress. Just really saturated in the heart and solar plexus up the back of my neck, feeling it behind me. So it's just like, it's starting to just build up and build up like it's still buzzing, still there. This airplane is still buzzing around. I don't know the meaning of the airplane yet, but still working through this. So I'm just going to ask you a question. Are you okay being this tree? Or do you want to be like the other trees? You don't know what to do with being this tree that you are. Or what the meaning of it is. Or how to make sense of it. It, it clashes with the other trees. And it doesn't blend with the other trees. And it doesn't really fit in with the other trees. Therefore... I don't understand myself. I don't understand it. How do I work with this and feel balanced when the rest of the world, I'm, I'm clearly not the same as the rest of the world. So how do I feel balanced with being different or balanced just with being myself? Because I stick out. I'm obvious. I'm different. I say, well... Maybe, just an idea, what if we don't see you as different? Maybe over um, thinking about how you don't fit in or how you're different, maybe it's uh, creating a problem that doesn't actually exist by using those types of words. I'm different, I don't fit in, I clash with what is the norm around me. Maybe you really need to bring it on into yourself. Don't worry about other people. What are your needs? A 
Okay. Something is definitely shifting. It's not shifted all the way yet, but I'm placing my hands into the bark of the tree, which is you. I'm actually able to place my hands inside, and it has something to do with the energy of your spine and your heart. So I'm just touching both, okay? And I just keep saying, I love you over and over again. And it's coming from your angels, from your guides, from your higher self, from my spirit, from Abby, from all of us. We're all saying, I love you. It's like you're afraid to be truly yourself. You have a beautiful pathway, by the way. And you're, you're really shine. And you stand out and are different. And it's obvious. And it's good. It's good that you are like this. And it's interesting because this strange tree grew amongst completely different trees. It's really an unusual tree that you are. Why would you have grown amongst all these trees? How did you manage to fit in here? Like, why did you choose to be in such a place where nothing would look like you? There would be no other similar reflections. They would all be different from you. Which is going to make you feel... We, we do live in a judgmental world, so we can feel judged. Because we are obviously not the same. The world does not need you to be like the other trees, that's for sure. How can you be okay with being you? This um, trunk, it's it's just, it's uh, like I'm, I've got my hands in here and I'm just sending love and light to spine and heart. And then we're just all generating this love energy within and around you. And this bark, this tree is starting to look like a bone, okay? Like a a leg bone like a really hard bone that would be really hard to break it would be like your upper leg bone it would be a hard bone I would think to break it would be an awkward like you could probably break your ankle or break maybe your lower leg bone or your knee but your upper bone I think would be a, t a tougher one to break um, so I just keep thinking of a bone that would be really hard to break it's shaped like a bone you would have in your leg. And this bone is unbreakable. It's taken a lot of hits, but it never breaks. I'm just going to touch this bone. It also echoes to me of um, a long lost feeling, like a caveman with, it's like a ooga booga <laughs> with a bone. Um, there's some sort of caveman energy, but it remind, it's like long lost, something long lost. It's not necessarily about the caveman, but it feels a bit magical, like um, long lost, long ago, once upon a time, um, kind of like that. The more we work our way into who you are, I mean, you're tight and resisting like nobody's business. And you have a lot of inner, uh, inner secrets, inner cool stuff that would be very hard for it to rise up so that you can experience it at the surface because there is just simply so much resistance. But it's like uh, I'm slowly working my way towards something very magical about you. And that's, um, when you loosen up, you get loose and limber. Lumber. I'm going to make a, a, a wood joke. <laughs> loose and lumber. <laughs> so you get loose and lumber. And then 
<laughs> and then the magical stuff comes to the surface, okay? <laughs> I ask you about that feeling I keep getting. And all I do is look at this un unbreakable leg bone and then it takes me to this long lost feeling. And it's kind of magical and I see it through a golden pathway that is not a tree. It's literally like if you could have the yellow brick ro road but it, it just sparkles. It just completely sparkles without any bricks. It's just like walking on air that sparkles golden light. It's so pretty. And these trees couldn't even comprehend this pathway because only the golden tree that you are can make sense of it. And you could see it as a branch of on your own tree that takes you down that pathway of memory. And I'm starting to realize that this amazing golden tree has very few branches, no leaves. And it's like, when we help you to relax and help you to feel the light inside yourself, you're starting to grow. Actual branches, which the branches are pathways to other aspects of who you are. And now you're not what is like a, a fallen tree that is... Um, kind of in a decay process because it has no branches but you're starting to grow you're starting to grow and you're still a golden tree but now you've grown a actual branch sadness 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 you're not worthy i'll never be good enough i'll never be worthy some of these types of um these languages are coming out, okay? It's like the I don't love myself um, verbiage. It's okay, because I'm, I'm encouraging you to just keep saying whatever you feel like sharing. Because this stuff, you just need to get this stuff out. It's okay if it if it's talking like this. We, it needs to just come out. It needs to come out somehow. But as, as it comes out again, you're, it's like you're starting to be able to breathe and you're sinking into your body better. You're, you're starting to be okay with yourself. Um, you're feeling more grounded and rooted into the planet. And you are not. It's like your ego. And ego is a, it's the survival mechanism, okay? Ego is afraid of, of human ascension. It's afraid of infinite understanding. Because ego is a survival mechanism. So it's a, it's like an animal to find it. It's a flight or fight. Um, so ego reacts. So if you have a super high, high vibe soul and you have a lot of, um, incredible lives that the ego can't even comprehend it, it will do what it can to prevent you from knowing yourself. And it will give you reasons to be afraid, reasons to judge yourself, reasons to put yourself down, reasons to go inward, reasons for all of these things. And so we really, it's, it's your ego is really um, kind of like a tourniquet here. So we got to break, we got to help ego know that it is safe and there's not, there, there's nothing here but absolute beauty and awe. And you're, you're suffocating. I mean, ego is literally suffocating you. Because ego doesn't want you to be yourself. It wants you to be like all the other trees because that's how you survive. That's the best way for you to survive is just to be like everybody else. But no, you have to be not like everybody else. You have to super not be like anybody else. Otherwise, we'll, we'll never get to enjoy you. We'll never get to say, wow, look at that golden tree there. Holy smokes, where'd that come from? That's what you represent, you see? <sighs> Sad. 
sadness, weeping, screaming in the face and the head. Leave me alone. It's just inner talk. I hate you. It's just inner talk going on here. I mean, you have these two souls. I hate you. Leave me alone. I hate you. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's just an internal battle, okay? <sighs> Lots of crying on the inside. <sighs> and I speak very directly to you. And I say something like, you will not speak that way to yourself ever again. You will not hurt yourself anymore. Because the self you're hurting is you. And you're punishing yourself. It's like telling a kid that they did wrong and they need to go sit in the corner and the kid did nothing wrong. That really messes a kid up. And you're doing something like this inside your energy field to yourself, which it's okay. We all struggle with stuff like this. I say you're going to help yourself now. You're going to take care of yourself now. You're going to rise above this. You are going to stand tall and you are going to be more yourself than you have ever known yourself to be. And you are going to stand out and people are going to love you for it. And that's the truth. And that's the truth you're going to tell yourself because that is the truth. I'm a beautiful tree of golden light and I stand tall amongst many other trees and I shine bright in the sunlight and I love being who and what I am and I am growing and I am thriving and I'm connecting to all the beautiful parts of me. I am accepting of myself. I'm literally creating a bit of a shroud um, only because there's such a sensitivity to a, what is around you. Um, the thing is these trees aren't making any noise. They aren't even really acknowledging you. Um, but there's something about, um, because the vulnerability is so loud, I'm just going to help your energy field feel as though it is just simply you, okay? Because it's going to give you an inner rest. It's going to give you a break. Because if those trees aren't there and it's just you, then it's safe to be you, right? Right? But if the trees are there, then you stand out. So for now, it's something that is going to help help you work through this. You don't; those trees don't exist. I, that I'm creating that energy in a space for you, so you can just experience just simply yourself, because you need that, because you have a recovery here. You you're gonna you're going through a recovery, and I and I'm not sure what you've been through in your life, but you definitely have um, what I'm being shown by your guides and angels um, is this very magical part of you has been extremely um, broken down on the inside, and struggling to be strong in the on the inside, and okay with itself. <sighs> And so it's recovery from a very long time. Because that just doesn't happen in one day. It happens over time. You know what's interesting? Now that I've shrouded you so that you can just be you, finally something breaks. 
it's like I hear this very loud crack noise that just goes crack, crack, crack. Like it just cracks for a very long ways. It's, it's like a very satisfying sound, but it's like this powerful, very long drawn out crack noise. Like the gold, this impossible, I got the pick out and I can't get any gold. I can't take you home with me. Not even a little nugget of you. <laughs> so um, you're cracking, you're, you're cracking this shell. Inside is not what you would think. I will say this is some seriously exhausting stuff happening here. So the this uh, trunk, it's like that big around. It's not like a super wide trunk. Um, it's got a very hollow, thin hollow tube on the inside. And there's a black something in there. So when it cracks, it's exposing something black. And that black thing is not, it's very unprepared for the environment. The sun and the fresh air. It's like uh, water in the basement that cannot reach a dry experience. So it's just kind of gets rot. It starts to rot. And so this black, it's like, it's kind of gooey and it's been sitting like this for too long. And it didn't rot any of this tree by any means, but it's just like, it's not meant to be gooey like this. It's not meant to be wet like this. And it's extremely confused as to what it is now. <laughs> because that tree is completely dis just that tree is no longer needed. It was almost like a, a cocoon for something that was being born inside yourself. And that something was just getting rancid in there. So that cracking and opening up, this black gooey thing is not a negative thing. It's actually something very special but it desperately needs fresh air. It desperately needs um, sunlight. It desperately needs out. So the golden tree is just turning into just, it's like withering into the forest. Like it's just completely fallen and decaying and turning into just disappearing. Like it never even existed. And now there's just this thin little like, um, goo man standing here, goo thing. Maybe five feet tall, maybe like as wide as a roller. It's not wide at all. It's not thick. It's not big. It doesn't necessarily have roots. It just seems to be a thing. It has two white eyes. It tells me it shouldn't exist. It's got male energy to it. it says I shouldn't be here. I sh should not be here. That's what he's, he's saying this. I say you should be here because you are here. You can only ever be where you are meant to be. You're meant to be here. You are here. Because this is where you are meant to be. And you gotta take a look around you and find out, I wonder why my higher self would want me to be here right now. And go discover it. I'm gonna pull out a mirror and have him look at himself in the mirror. I just want to see what he sees inside of himself. And what does this have to do with you? I'm going to ask your guides and angels if, you know, they got to stay in the background or can we see more of you? <sighs> I start to see all these trees and they're turning and they all have faces and they all say hello to you. 
and we've been here the whole time and you didn't even know it because we were disguising ourselves in order to teach you some very powerful lessons in self-love so it's like they're saying you have to get through this one they've always been there but there's something in the surroundings that they're blending in for all the right reasons but the fact that they're turning around and kind of exposing themselves as the trees that made you stand out and feel different like you didn't fit in they were the trees <laughs> It's like, they're all turning around like, oh, we were the trees, we we got ya. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of like this, but they're really sweet about it, and they're really proud of you, because it's hard. It's really hard. And, boy, this is really working on my third eye here. <sighs> Which is working on your third eye. <sighs> I tell them you need to look into the eyes of the trees around you. We're just looking past the mirror. This is, I mean, your third eye, your the energy in your face, everything is starting to just shift, like big time shift. There's a, quite an exhaustion about it. There's a lot of pressure build up here in the third eye. You really don't know what you are. And you want to know the answer to, like, the who am I, the ultimate question. Who am I? It's not the meaning of life. It's who am I? <laughs> I swear, the ultimate question is who am I? <laughs> because, again, you don't look like anything around you. You look so different. Like, there's nothing even conceivably the same as you. And while this has male energy, it's still coming from you. And I see the trees of your guides and angels coming closer and closer and closer. And they say, we can't show you who you are. Because you have to be open to discovering who you are on the inside. It's like you when we're meant to come into a life where, where you wouldn't be able to rely on anybody around you. Any of the books that you read, any of the, it's almost like you are so uniquely different that the only way you could know who you are is to actually discover it inside yourself for yourself. You have to become a total master. Because nobody could truly guide you because you're 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 in, you're so you're expressing yourself so differently, and it's it's like um, I guess one easy way to interpret it is let's say that um, there's no oceans, so there would be no fish, okay, here on planet Earth. Let's just say, but you're a fish amongst all these humans. And you know there's something different about you, and everybody else knows there's something different about you, but there's no conceivable way to comprehend what you are. Because in this hypothesis, or this, this dream, or this, you know, this idea, there's no fish that exist here. So this is what you're like. You're like, there's nothing conceivably close. Like, there's nothing we could work with to help us really define you. And that's the way it's meant to be. That's exactly the way that it needs to be. Because you're going to start listening to your inner voice. You're going to start trusting your own guidance. Because the only person who can truly guide you is you. <laughs> hmm. Something about me telling you this about yourself, I see this this weird worm-like black thing. Um, he just starts to breathe and and he stops asking questions. And I see him sort of levitating up, and the energy around him is starting to turn white, and it kind of has or like layered auras. And it's kind of sparkly and white and purple and pink. It's really pretty. Um, 
and he says, I'm going to be more different than anybody could ever know what different is. And we're like, yes. <laughs> right on you let just be so different just be so freaking different <laughs> show us what we can't even conceive of be so different <laughs> and you're starting to love that you're not like anybody else and you're so glad you're not <laughs> it's like the best news you've ever heard and in this light, there's some sort of ram woman. She has kind of like the face of a, a ram, and she has um, spiral um, horns. And she has this sort of a magical staff, and it's white and glitters and glistens. But she has the body of what lo appears to be human. She's wearing white. There's something Princess Leia like about the hair or the, or the, the horns are kind of like that. And then those white gown kind of looks like a Princess Leia thing. But it's definitely got the face of like a goat or a ram. Kind of. And she's very strong. She has hands like a human. And she has feet like a human. She starts to make noises from deep inside of her throat, which then come from her stomach. And they like create these echoes of aura, like she's speaking auras. And then in these rings of aura energy. And I don't even know what she's saying. It's kind of like a, ah, 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 like a, she, but she does it with bubbles and um, like purplish sparkly rings and it's so deep down inside and it just comes out and she's speaking the sound the frequency of all of the stars in the universe and it comes from her soul and she knows who and what she is and she is a reflection of who you are And just to tell you something else, she says that um, ch change is a desperate thing in need here. So for there to be what you we could call star seeds, okay, um, to seed the earth with new ideas, you are an excellent one because you don't, nothing, like what you bring to the table here is so interesting like the ideas that can come from who you are by being totally different are actually what we're starving for we're starving for you and that's why you came okay because you answered the call of the collective energies that were starving for you okay <laughs> all right that's what i have to share Man, I want to see where this goes some more. <sighs> that was really, really cool. And thank you very much for exploring this session with me, for sharing it with others. There's so much to learn. <laughs> thank you so much. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you all. Have a beautiful day.